right. Well, here we are. Evan, it's a momentous day for Live Connection. We are live on Live Connection. Recording mm. Celeste from an exclusive... Wait, no. Dis, no. A disclosed location. Uh, yes, of <laughs> course. Away from the rest of the Live Connection crew. Mm -hmm. We are going to play this Celeste game. Yes. And we have some new a new audio setup yeah if you can believe that do we, i want to rename i don't know i kind of like the name madeline madeline our it's, name is uh, madeline yeah we're gonna begin so we've seen this a game bit? yeah kind of on youtube circulating around mm -hmm. this is it madeline just, just breathe. breathe oh i guess that's her talking this is oh so this is the last jedi trailer <laughs> right here <laughs> Why are you so nervous? You silly. Look at all that stuff. They're not going to tell me that, like the controls, are they? No. Wait, oh, no. It's... That arrow, that lamp looks like an up arrow. Is that how you oh. jump? Up? Well, it's uh, it's B to jump. Oh, B to jump? Okay. Yeah. So we're not uh, tap to jump here. What's, okay. what's your game? What's your game there, Mr. Ice Block? I think, Who do you think you are? I think it just it's just there to show you that you can climb on it, maybe? You, oh, you there have you to go. press uh, Z, the Z and right, L, the right, L. right trigger. To, fucking, did that? Did that Raven just steal my wallet? Did it? Did you, did you even have a wallet? I, I mean, he did something. He, it seemed like he was being an asshole about something. Oh. This, you know, this does look like your regular uh, Canadian commute to work. You mm -hmm. know, yep. you happen to climb some ice, go say hi to old man Jenkins. Excuse me, ma'am. Look at the uh, the logo, like the facial. Look, it's yeah. so, it's like pixel, but then it's like actual art there. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? Until dawn, part seven. Go, Evan. You be the almost, old lady. Almost. You, you're almost there. It's just across the bridge. What? Oh, the, the zoom in. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed, and I nearly died. Go fuck yourself. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Animated the hog. If my driver almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for ya. Oh man, how's Madeline going to take to this criticism? Is that the is that game? Oh, she <laughs> oh, doesn't dot, like dot, it. Dot. <laughs> fuck man, you, you, old lady. <laughs> well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Holy man. Shirt yourself. As I blink with my eyes separately. <laughs> you but don't you even <laughs> neither of us have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might say things. Things you ain't ready to see. Like crazy old women. Showing you things. What? You should seek help, lady. Uh, Madeline. She's all about it. Madeline, Madeline is not a very good protagonist so far. So she's... far, I am not a fan of her. She has to go through the hero's journey still. Yeah. She, she's young and stupid. She, she's still laughing off screen. She's still a squirrel killer. She oh. needs to be reformed. Uh oh. This isn't good. Oop. <laughs> it's like. They didn't. Oh. Oh, oh. What? Oh, oh. Okay. I remember this. This guy's got my wallet. Ah. L Y. Okay. <laughs> so we're hey. supposed to die there. Hey, Evan. Quoth the Raven. Quoth L to soar. L to soar. You, you can do this. What is the uh, the difference between a raven? No, wait, no. A is writing it? desk and a raven. What is the similarity? Wait, no. Dude, is this Mount Yumnuska? <laughs> Mount Yumnuska. <laughs> it's Raven's End. It's Raven's End. Ben Gad. Oh, man. Oh, that was that was an interesting. Oh, one. whoops. So when we were in grade five, we had to. Uh, we had this thing called reading flock what was it called flock flap flock flap. flock flap and it was when we went into the corner underneath a big paper mache raven mm -hmm. and uh, our grade five teacher read us a book called raven's end and we had postcards just like this with the canadian flag on yeah them. does this game Whoa. take place in canada look at that it's perfect then it's yeah. perfect for us or maybe it just knows we're in canada yeah. and that's why it has no i've seen other people play and they all have the canadian flag so look at this this is canadian finally some representation yeah in the media see like i was saying this is just your regular commute yeah yeah does this kill me yep. that kills me <laughs> that kind of looks like it was a secret or something yeah it looked like you could go down there 
Okay, so... So now we're just trying to climb the mountain? Is that... I, I why are we so. climbing the mountain? Because uh, Madeline wants to. Madeline does what Madeline wants to do, man. I don't care about Madeline, though. Madeline's so far has been not a very nice person. So far, she's just called an old oh, lady a bat. Wall, wall jump. This is Mario. It's a me. Madeline. It's a me, Madeline. <laughs> it's a me. Oh, fuck. It's a oh. me, Madeline. <laughs> oh, okay, so you can press A or Y to dash. Okay. Yeah, so that's good to know. So B and Oh, you can only dash once. Yeah, I think you can only dash once while you're before you like reach flat ground again. That makes sense. So like there's a stoplight right there. Mm -hmm. There's an E sign. I don't know what that means in traffic law. There's also no street there, so yeah, so uh, there's no need for a traffic light. Okay, you gotta. Kay. Okay, it's gonna take me a little while to get used to. It. <laughs> like how far you go when you when you boost like that. Yeah. So do you like, slide down that too? Yeah, if you don't hold uh, the right trigger. Okay. Okay, you gotta get that turn up over there. Oh, that's a strawberry. It looks like a turn up to me. That's a. You've seen some weird turn ups in your time, my friend. What do you mean? That's a turn up. Okay. I'm. Hey, man. I mean, you say it's a turnip, it's a turnip. It's just a really nice turnip. How are you supposed to get up from there? I don't, know, I don't think you keep that if you... I keep, keep pressing right bumper to boost. I think that if you jump down there and then, God like, you boost to the left, you should be able to jump from the left up to the right side and then to the left side and then... Yeah. So try... Yeah. I could probably just jump down and boost upwards and then grab the ledge. How far do you boost up, though? Oh, look at that. Did you even get it, though? I guess I didn't. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> what? I thought you went right over it. Madeline, you've cheated me. I've been bamboozled by maybe, Madeline. Maybe you can... Wait. I I got it that time. Okay, that was weird. Oh, it is yeah. a strawberry. Yeah. It looks more like a strawberry in the top left corner there. We were comes in. just trying to get some Canadian turnips. Yeah, Canadian turn. Well, I mean, a strawberry wouldn't even have any chance of growing in this kind of weather. It's, uh. I'm a little bit more concerned about the fact that we're in, like, some sort of weird abandoned city. Yeah, it's, it's a like bit, a, uh, the vertical city. Disconcerting. Vertigo. Oh. Teaching you the game mechanics. What kind of street signs are these? This is the worst city ever. It says you can't go up, but. You can jump down and then go up. Or I guess not. Just right. do that again. Works for me. I'm I'm foreseeing some uh, some trials and tribulations in our future. Yeah, I Evan. think I think Madeline's about to be put through the gauntlet here. Yeah. She's uh so far did her Oh, so her hair turns blue there, hey? Yeah, she she comes a manic pixie dream girl for all of two seconds. Jeez. 500 can days you, of Madeline. Can you not drop through that platform? Scott, Madeline versus the world. Uh, You can, but you have to get up to it first. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Boing, boing. Dude, you're... Oh, I was just about to say, you're doing pretty good, hey, but man. then you we'll, killed yourself. We'll, we'll get it eventually. This is very... God oh, damn it. son of a bitch, hey? I wonder, is there a point to this this way up here? I think I, that's like the way you're spo. Oh no, no you can't not. climb that long. I have a feeling that's just a nice way of showing you that in the future there's gonna be ways you shouldn't go that are just gonna murder you. All right, you got oh, this. Oh, I accidentally oh, used my boost right. at the top, so you have to be really careful about how you go about doing your business. Maybe you. Which is probably why do you have you to use your boost? Oh no, you yeah. don't. There you go. Those strawberries are weird, though. They don't really hit you right away. <laughs> They're like acid. It doesn't kick in right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Takes a little while. It's like uh, it's like an edible. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing. Did I just find a secret? Did you? I broke through an ice wall and now I'm here. So I guess. All right, we'll go get that strawberry. Did I do well? Uh, I think you died. <laughs> do we have lives in this no, game? No. It's, just it's like sort of a hay? Super Meat Boy type deal, I think. Okay. I never played that game, actually. Uh, neither did I, but... I remember Peter... No, it wasn't... I remember Peter playing Cave Story or something through high school. Ah, I keep... I want to press everything except B to just do a normal jump. Do you ever find that? 
like I'm, I've said it to Eric a couple times, but I find that the older I get, the harder time I have to like getting used to a new control set. Really? Yeah. So it's like I I'm, mean, tr I'm trying to like I'll, like for example, right now I'm playing Monster Hunter, <laughs> and I'm just having the hardest time oh. not pressing X because like when I press X, I'm on Xbox by the way. Yeah. Um, when I press X. I sheath my weapon, mm -hmm. and I'm not. I don't want to sheath my weapon, but I do. And then, like, I put my weapon away, and then I just get fucked up by the monster, and that's never good. Uh, I mean, I do notice that sometimes, but I mean, I I can normally get a game's control scheme down eventually. Yeah, like, um, no, it comes eventually, but it just seems like the older I get, the longer time, like, the longer period there is between me not really understanding them and me actually mastering them. Like, oh. for example, like Breath of the Wild. Oh, there's a strawberry in the top left there, Jack. You oh, missed. Damn it. Breath All of the right, Wild. Man. There, I it took me, it took me forever. It must have taken me like five plus hours before I actually got used to the combat system. I just kept throwing my weapon on the ground and just like not missing the guys, and it was bad. Like I don't, I don't know what was really happening there, but yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? Oh no, you can. I guess you can just do that. How the hell am I? Oh, you can't now? boost now though. Yeah. So, from Donkey's video on this on this game, I think you can use the momentum of that upward motion and jump, and you'll be flung upwards. Fuck. Man, you this should. Is gonna, um, this is gonna be embarrassing. You should. Uh, when you get back to that area on the left, there, you should like go through the door on the left, so you get your checkpoint over there in case you die again. What? There we go. Yeah. So we're pretty much just gonna be like. I don't know if kind of just going back and forth whenever we feel like it. Yeah. To see uh to yeah. see how we how we ac can accomplish this game. I got to go I think oh, shit, I think you got Oh yeah, you got yeah, to go over there. The oh, holy. But now what do I do? Um I think you're going to start sliding down right away. Yeah. I think Okay, jump right before you reach, like, the end of that. Or right when you reach the end of that. It should boost you right up. Let me apply some calculations to this. Didn't work. If you just jump, though. Or can you jump? No, yeah, you can yeah. jump. Yeah, jump right at the top. See, oh, there you go. Okay. And then you should be able to grab onto that ledge if you, like, stand right on the very t corner. If, if I was confident. Yeah, and then... <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I... I'm, I can't press there the right go. buttons at any point. And then, oh, oh yeah. Evan, you did it. You're All right, savior. now jump back down and then go through the door so we don't lose our progress. You actually don't lose the strawberries if you die. Oh, do so, you? Okay, no. good. So, I, so that's, that's, that's <laughs> fortuitous. <laughs> okay, you got this, Jack. I like to boost, I guess so. Yeah. Okay, what is that now? It's I think that gives you an extra jump. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. What's on the left there, though? Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. There's going to be multiple paths, aren't there? I guess. Look, there's a cityscape in the background there. I got the second jump, and, and I then I killed backwards. myself with it. Okay, Madeline. Come on, Madeline. If an old lady go. can do it, if an old bat can yeah. do it, then you can do it. What's your raven friend going to think? Where did... You're okay. going to fall off Mount Yamnuska. Okay, what, there's a... What was that? There's a fighter pilot or some shit. For all of you who have actually read the book but, Raven's End, you actually know that <laughs> if you... you read, <laughs> who has read the book <laughs> Raven's End? For, for all of you... For all of you Raven's End fan... You know what? That book has a hardcover. There must be a big fan base to have a hardcover, right? That's like that's when you know you've made it. Like when you get yeah, the blue copy. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Ben Gad got <laughs> got the test prints of Raven's End and was like, "Yes, <laughs> finally, I've made it." Well, My book about ravens for, and their secret society. For all you uh, Ravens End fans, you'll know that if you fall off the face of Mount Yamnuska, you will in fact turn into a raven and then yes. have a wonderful journey. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're coming! Yeah. I got the strawberry. Who's this dude? I don't know. It's looks like Nathan Drake, maybe? Kind of does, actually. Ho oh, there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. 
How did this plane crash? This like place this? is so crazy. I can't. I kind of can't believe it exists. Not the easiest clam, is it? It's, it's, he crashed a <laughs> plane here, Madeline. Yeah, look at that. But I guess that's what I was looking for. She's what? searching for something. Oh, whoa, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. There's like an old lady, like, <laughs> a couple feet away from you. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far-off land. <laughs> Portland? <laughs> Ellipsis. Oh, Madeline is not happy. Yeah. Not much of a talker, are you? She has to go through the hero's journey. Mysterious lone wolf type. I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're all doing. Yeah. Will, it, will, will I get something different if I say... Hey, sorry, I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Madeline, I'd say you've come to the right place. I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place for some quiet reflection. Yeah, maybe you're right. What far off land? Look at that wave. Yeah, it's that's like, did you ever use like the those um, emotes oh, in, for the in RuneScape, in RuneScape for the words? No, I could never figure it out. Yeah, I was always to... so sad. <laughs> <laughs> what what far off land do you hail from? Well, my inquestive com in inquisitive. Oh, fuck, <laughs> my inquisitive compatriot. I doth hail from the mystical exotic kingdom of. Seattle. <laughs> I was close. I was close with Portland. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Seattle. Oh. Seattle. <laughs> it's it sounds like a special place. It really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the conversation. Will he keep saying stuff? This place is wild. Why would an entire city be abandoned? Thanks, Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> I read that some mega corporations started building it, but no one wanted to live here. I wonder why. Maybe because it's a vertical. My money's on a government cover up. Dude, are we just calling out all the plot points in Celeste? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a waste to build all of this for no reason. At least we get to enjoy the leftovers. You know what? I gotta say, if someone built a city on top of an entire mountain, that would be that would be some feat of engineering, that's for sure. Pretty impressive. The, what about Machu Picchu? Not as impressive. <laughs> Are you here to explore the city? Yeah. I have a thing for abandoned places. And I like to think of myself as a budding photographer. Oh, really? That's cool. Do you have a blog or something? <laughs> Fucking I have a follow, Tumblr. Follow, yeah, follow, <laughs> follow me at Crash Plain Seattle <laughs> on Tumblr.com. A blog? Madeline. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo <laughs> Understands. <laughs> Madeline, Madeline, this terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope, I'm headed for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so, I bet you could make it to the summit too, if you had a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top, TBH. <laughs> Okay. Oh, but I heard there's some legit old ruins up beyond the city. Like 18,000s legit? 1800s? Oh. Like like the century? The 1800s? Like 1800s <laughs> legit. Sorry, I must see numbers differently. <laughs> All right, okay. I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. Wait, did he just say that he... He's not going to summit it, but then he just said he wants to summit well, it. I, th I, th I don't think the runes are at the summit. This I is some interesting conversation. What's the thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Mental note. <laughs> <laughs> Throw caution to the wind? No, that's not it. All right. 
Yo! <laughs> that's that's what got you. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. Yolo. Yolo, so, boys. Said, oh, he doesn't have any more dialogue options, man. That. Why not just roll that all into like one or two dialogues? Why did I have to constantly press a, keep like, talking? Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. Anyways, it's like that uh, that one Borderlands DLC where you have to talk to the old lady constantly. Here, uh, that like Duke Nukem like character, his right. his mom's stories over and over again. You know, it's it's interesting to see how like games and movies over time like they'll try to catch on to like that the the pop culture of like the era, but like because the development cycles are so long, it, it kind of gets outdated yeah. so f really quickly because you know technology and trends just advance so fast uh, so it's like i don't know anybody that really just actually says yolo anymore you know uh, yeah uh, yeah but i mean i think that character is also sort of supposed to be satirical well no i mean that's what i mean it's supposed to be satirical but it's just like because even if like even if this game has like a development cycle of like a year even like that much can t cause it to be outdated in in whatever kind of uh you know, trend it's trying to follow. Sure, like, yeah. I, I'm not saying it doesn't make it funny or anything. I'm just mm. saying, like, yeah. it's interesting to see how how trends change so fast that even in, like, a video game that... I, I'm not sure how long this game was in development, but even a video game like this can be outdated in in some terms of, like, sure. its dialogue, you know? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, if, if no one ever ended up living in this city, how come there's, like... Houses? Uh, yeah, like a like a, a studio suite with like this tiki mask and like someone's fucking ficuses growing on the roof. I don't know. Well, it's some sort of government cover up, right? <laughs> so we got to we got to conspire now. Yeah. All right, so definitely here you use that momentum to get over that spike cuz you got to keep your uh keep your Oop. Oh my goodness. It's okay. I guess you didn't really need to keep your 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 boost. How the hell am I supposed to get over to the left of the screen? Wait, I think there might... Yeah. Um, can you break through there? Doesn't look like it. Try going there again and... You might be able to... I don't know, can no. you use like that warning sign there as like monkey bars maybe? Maybe... Maybe you come maybe back maybe this way. Maybe it's telling me to... You Oops. might come back this way. Like, if you find a secret, you might oh, you end up what? back down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll do it. I did it once. It's always the first time that everything works out perfectly, and then after that, everything just is terrible. Like, whenever I try cooking a new meal, it always works out perfectly the first time, and then every time after that, it's just e anything goes wrong. You have to remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That's true. You start off strong, and then there's a slow uh, there's a slow de descent to mediocrity. Yeah. I was, I'll be honest, I was really hoping that this was going to do something. And now you're just stuck yeah. there. Like, I was hoping that this would be like a, something that fell, but no such luck. No, I think All right, we'll, we'll come back to this. I think you gotta Maybe. go this way. Yeah, I think, I think if you find a secret in the next area, it'll or in an area prior, uh, well, yeah. along the way, you'll sure, probably sure. end up back. Like, look at that ice oh, yeah, block yeah. up there. That's you definitely be. can break that. You got it's a not, jack. Not gonna let me up there. Fucking sack of crap. We're right at the peak. Nice. We did it. Well, this is a completely different thing entirely, but... You can do it. I okay. think you gotta get up there first. Oh, no. You got that. <laughs> can you jump off of that? Yeah, there you go. You're gonna die anyways, though. Oh, no, you need to get to solid ground first. Damn it. Oh, I see they, how the strawberries They took my strawberry work. from me. First, they took my strawberry. <laughs> they then took they took my, my family. <laughs> Do it, Jack. It's all about timing. Okay? Don't do what I just did. You got it. You got it. Eh, you almost had it there. You just can't think about it. 
Just don't think about it, and good things happen. Yeah. That's that's how yeah. I live my life, really. Can you tell? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be a, a tough road, but we're going to do it. I'm not the indie game master that Peter is. Yeah. So you're going to have to be patient with me. Oh! Am I supposed to, like, go up? No, I think you should use you should slide down further on the wall there, so you can you don't have to like wait for yourself to go down farther. So like if you let yourself, yeah, about to there, you should be good. Oh, yeah. Heaven, look at you. Wait, go back. No, there's like still that upper platform. Hey. I don't think there's anything else in there though, man. No, but you can climb up, and then did you? There was a hole in the roof. Roof is it? How the hell am I supposed to? Well, I think if you get up, climb up that wall, and then jump off, and then, and then boost to get up there, and then you can jump. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, I don't think so. I, I guess unless, it, unless you try like two, breaking the roof will just, crack? just to see. Nah. All right, move on. It's a. Uh, it was trying to trick you there. This is going to take me a while to get that right. Thank God there are... Oh, <laughs> there aren't any lives. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I guess you hit that spike, hey? Um, I think you got to you gotta use your boost to... Uh, oh, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. There I, you go. I fucking tricked you. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> It's gonna come on, baby. Don't do me dirty like this. How could this oh, I keep pressing B instead of A. See what I mean, though? Like, it's just like someone. I. It feels like someone who's who's younger than us would have already grasped these controls. I mean, maybe. You got this. You gotta you believe. It. You gotta do it, Madeline. Nobody else can do it for you. Be careful. The first warning sign of us of cliff falling mm -hmm. is uh, is yes. upon us. Oh, that's why. Yes. All right, so you just gotta run and climb. It's not. I don't think that's coming back. All right, just kill yourself. Oop. Oh. <laughs> no. Oop. Uh, well, now, you, one, now you fun. definitely now gotta kill fun. yourself. <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. I wonder if there's an achievement in this game. Oh, wait. This is this a is <laughs> No achievements. <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder if there's an achievement in this game to not use your dash once, except for when the raven tells you to do it. <laughs> uh, I, get, I think that would be impossible, though. Probably. Especially, like, right here. Come on, Madeline. So, you got this. What am I supposed to do now? Probably um, have to you'd have to get, on the, get to that yeah. side there and then not use your boost somehow in order to boost up onto that crumbling rock there. Oh. I yeah, I, yeah, I thought I could juke it. No, I think that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Juke it and then like land on the other side so you can boost to those rocks there. Mm -hmm. And then you can, from there, jump and boost off onto the right side wall. And then from there, you want to jump and boost onto that wooden platform there so then that you can use that to get up to that secret area there yeah there you go awesome oh. Evan you, you want to take over for a little while oh wanna... geez okay I'll t I'll, I'll, okay all right so remember right trigger to grab walls okay so it's Jesus. Ooh. Oh, okay, I see. I yeah. see it. I see it. Ah, oh, god damn it. <clears throat> yeah. I'm having a hard time with the controls already. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Wait. So, um, I was meaning to bring this up on Live Connection uh, for a little while, but I, I was only really involved in our most recent Hooked video while I was back in Calgary. And this is really the first time we've recorded anything while we were in Edmonton. 
we uh we just put out all of our until dawn videos as uh as you know evan and i'm sure our two viewers know as well yeah um i realized something uh plot related in until dawn has really been bothering me what's and that i think since i was sam and you were chris oh, oh fuck. Um, that's very very nice <laughs> I think you'll, you you might see where I'm coming from here. Okay. So the whole point of Josh tormenting you in Until Dawn was to get revenge on his sisters. Yeah. Um, for his sisters. Yeah, for his sister. But sisters. But the people whose faults it was. Oh no. Were the w ones who got the least amount of torment from Josh. Like he sent Mike and Jessica to the cabin in the woods. Yeah. So presumably to just stay out there all night, and he wasn't going to do anything to them. Right. Even though Mike was, like, one of the ringleaders, and Jessica at the very beginning of the game was like, I'm just looking out for my girl M, and I'm going to do this horrible, awful thing to my friend. Right? Right. And then Emily and Matt were also in on it, and they didn't do anything. They had to go down the path to get Emily's bag or some shit. Right. Um, and I think Ashley was a little bit in on it. Um, but maybe to a lesser extent. But I realized something. Chris wasn't in on it at all. He was passed out in the kitchen with Josh. And he... He, he got, like... He got one of the, the he, he most got, yeah, stuff, right? Seriously, he got fucked up, like, more than anybody in a lot of ways. And Sam was like, this is awful. We shouldn't be doing this. And I, then she also got the worst of, of it. Right. Like, she got fucking punched and everything, yeah. right? Well, I don't think... Oh, oh she she got some stuff done to her. She got chased around while she was in a towel. Well, so. we no, she gets punched, right? No, I think it's Ashley that, that oh, gets like sucker yeah. punched after she stabs him with the scissors. Because it's really pretty much just Jessica and Mike that are like the worst with it, right? Mm. Well, Matt was the one with the selfie stick. He was the one taking the video. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, Emily was going along with it, and. Ashley ah, son didn't of a bitch. You're having a bit of trouble with this. <laughs> I <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I guess you're right. I never really thought about it yeah. like that. Well, like, I, 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 I didn't pay much attention to the initial screen, so I didn't really realize that even like that uh, Chris really didn't do anything, right? Yeah, well I only realized it because I was going through and rewatching all of those videos that we did for you know because I, I had to. Yeah. When, when I was, like, doing the scheduling and stuff like that. And then I, I realized sort of when they're, like, looking at the dollhouse and sort of in the footage and stuff like that, I'm like, Chris isn't in this in the bedroom with these guys while they're doing this stuff to uh, um, Hannah. Maybe, so like, I, Chris admits. Because Josh and Chris are supposedly best friends, yeah, right? But it, actually, in the very intro scene when you're playing as Beth, you start in the kitchen, right? Yeah. And... You, and Chris is passed out across the table from Josh. I so. yeah, but what I'm saying is like maybe what happens there. You did it, Evan. <laughs> you almost did it. I almost did it. I think maybe maybe what happens is that like after the fact, like Chris, because like they're best friends, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe they probably talked about it, and maybe Chris feels bad because Chris knew it was going to happen. And he never said anything about it. Maybe. So, like, I mean, that's just kind of filling in the plot holes, though, there. Which a good narrative sh really shouldn't shouldn't mm. make you do. Yeah. But, yeah, oh. I guess that is a pretty big plot hole in that story, hey? I don't know. It's just uh, something that struck me as kind of weird. That he would go to such lengths to fuck with the two people who were, like... Fuck! Really, that, that was really <laughs> unfortunate. Like, the two people who were the most supportive of him and yeah. were like his two closest friends so I I don't know it just seemed weird to me and I thought I would bring it up no I keep hitting the wrong button when I get See, the, it's, to the it's end hard. yeah so, I oh. got it yes so enjoy like three minutes of Evan trying to get that berry <laughs> alright um, I think we're probably going to end this episode here we got uh, our meeting we're going to do in about yeah, we got in a some, bit here. Yeah. So we will we'll be back with this. Um, yeah. So thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. Uh, Rockata. Rockata. <laughs> That's the quote from the book for all you yeah. Raven Ends fans. Oh, Raven's <laughs> End fans. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, See guys. See you later.